Hello YouTube, this is the Mormon 82 here. Uh, it's, a, it's a Friday, it's Remembrance Day. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a Remembrance Day where it's not raining, for obvious reasons. It's always gloomy and raining on, on that day here in, uh, in Canada. Um, I decided to do a video anyway. I know I've been absent from YouTube for quite a while, but I'm, I'm starting to come back and making little short videos. Uh, today, <clears throat> I just wanted to make a short one on another project I'm going to be starting maybe this winter, not the spring. Right now I'm collecting parts. Um, I don't know if you, any of you are familiar with the channel Sprockets Garage on YouTube. Uh, he, he recently made a, um, a build for the all-terrain lawn tractor form competition and he made a rat rod. So this, that inspired me to actually make rat rod myself. I've been thinking, uh, you know, about a lot of things and, uh, a lot of design um, ideas and things. I think I have it pin, pinned down. I just need to get the parts. I have some of some of them in my hoard here. Uh, I'm just going to give you a quick one for what I'm going to be using. Again, once it's nice, I'm going to be uh, going to be um, trying to. Uh, I'll make another video of a mock-up of what it's going to going to be. Uh, first of all, the wheels. Um, I'm going to be using these uh, garden, garden tractor wheels for the back. Um, tires are not in bad shape, but I think I'm going to go with a different kind of tread uh, just because, just for the look, uh, but I don't want to spend the fortune in tires right now, so I'm just going to use these. So I have two of these. Um, I'm going to use those. Uh, and let me see, for the front, um, I don't know if you can see that here. This is this here is an old front end um, from uh, an old garden shack, garden garden tractor, uh, Murray, I believe. I'm gonna use this front end to, and I'm gonna lower it uh, close to the ground. This will be the donor tractor. I have two of them. They're the MTD lawn flights. Um, this one. I might actually turn into an ice racer. One of my friends has been bugging me for, for um, to make a, a tractor to race in the snow because he's doing a really big track around this height, around this in the back of his house, and this winter. So I might not be, uh, I might be working on that this winter. I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, so I'm gonna use these tractors because they're actually made of metal compared to, you know, things like that and like that, and some of this plastic stuff. Um, so this will be the donor tractor for my project. Essentially, I'm going to strip all mo most of it off, uh, not using the front axle, taking off the hood, taking the engine off, seats got to go, the side fenders are going to go, the rail, the bottom um, rests are going to stay, the console is going to stay to some, some degree. I'm gonna have, going to have to uh, lower it somehow, uh, I don't know, cut some metal and lower it. Um, the transmission in the back end is going to come out. I'm putting a straight axle, one inch axle around the back um, with a sprocket chain going through a variable speed drive. And I'm going to put a, uh, I'll show you the engine I'm going to put on there. It'll be a horizontal shaft engine and a very, very old Briggs & Stratton, which I have here. 10 horsepower, so that should be enough. It's the old type with the old carburetor. I want to do this, um, this is a rat rod, so I want to combine new and old things with a lot of, since we're on PEI and there's a lot of agriculture, I want to combine some tractor parts, make it look a, a, farm, a farm tractor in a way. It would be brass gauges and chrome exhausts and all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, so there's that. And uh, what else do I have for parts? Uh, I think that's pretty much it right now. I have some old wrenches and old um, adjustable wrenches and old um, non-adjustable wrenches for handles. Um, I'm looking right now for uh, Sears Suburban rear fenders. I'm looking for a Simplicity three-quarter uh, steering wheel because I have to rejig the steering wheel. I'm going to put a tractor seat in the back of that and I'm cut the fenders down because I'm gonna pretty much I'm gonna be sitting on the frame mostly or almost on the frame so 
So I'm probably gonna have to weld some some cross members on that. Uh, but yeah, I'll be sitting in the frame. I might carve a design, like not design, but just uh, cut away some of the some of the side fenders. And uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to keep the engine because I'm going to probably put it in this one. This one has a 12, that's a 13. So I'm probably going to swap this out when I make my racer. For snow racer, I guess. As for the snow racer, I'm contemplating pretty much using the whole thing stock. Same same tires, same steering system. I might drop the hood a little bit or change the design. Change, no, I might keep the fenders, drop the seat. Um, I might actually buy the nails that go into uh, skidoo tracks uh, if I can find shorter ones the ones I, f I, I sourced out are, are one and a quarter and three quarter of inch inches which are very long and I'm, I'll be I'd be afraid to put them on the tires in case I flip it and run over myself <laughs> which would not be good so I might just or I just I might just buy a bolts and and drill them into the tire or whatnot uh, anyway so I'm gonna use yeah like I said I'm gonna use this one for uh, sort of like the go-kart kind of thing. Um, yeah, the transmission is going to go, uh, have to do some, some, some welding and, and, uh, reconfiguring, but I, I should be able to make it work. Once I get the motor on there and the dash and everything else off, the wiring and stuff like that, I should be, I should be all right. Um. And it'll be interesting if I change, yeah, if I change the uh, fenders off the back, it'd be great. And, uh, and that's it for, for that update video. Uh, I will try to be posting more videos. Uh, actually, I'm going to try to, I'm taking a run to the scrapyard today. Uh, just to bring some stuff that I have left over here. Uh, so I'll, I'll probably take a video on that. A video of the drive and everything. So if you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.